Hello guys, from Skodra. Today we have a very special mission. We need to go to Montenegro. Tonight I have rented a house in Montenegro to celebrate my birthday. We are now in the north of Albania. And I'm not sure how to get to Montenegro. I've been told that there's only one bus a day early in the morning and we are already in the afternoon. So let's try to find a bus that more or less goes the right direction. And otherwise we have to hitchhike or find another solution. Let's have a look. Hello. That guy asked if I was willing to pay 40 euro. That's probably taxi price. And I want to do it the cheap way or as I call it, the more adventurous way. Let's see if we can find the bus. There are several buses going to Montenegro though. I think it should be possible. It's 2.15, but there's no one to see. So it should leave in 15 minutes. Let's wait around here now. Our bus has arrived a bit late, so I was afraid it wouldn't come, but here he is. Some other people arrived here with the bicycle. I asked them about the price and it should be 7 euro and 1 euro for the luggage, which is quite expensive for Albania. There are no prices shown, so they can basically ask whatever they want. Um, and yeah, it looks like I might be the only passenger. So it's good there is a bus. Although I was ready for the adventurous way of hitchhiking. Or, worst case, walking. I saw it's six hours walking to the house. Um, but okay, with the luggage and everything. But it was like plan B, like maybe take a bus a little further and then walk the last part, something like that. That was like plan B. But it looks like we're, we're gonna get there uh, all the way by bus. And we also have to cross the border, of course. So I, I don't know how that will go. I hope it will be smooth. So the border from Albania to Montenegro. I hope it's not a busy border. I'm not ready to wait for hours. All right, guys, we're leaving Skodra. We're going to Montenegro. And I am the only passenger on the bus. In the front we just have the driver and the guy who collects the money. I have to say that the guy who was offering me a taxi for 40 euro, he showed me the bus for free and he helped me all the time. And I thought he maybe he wanted some money for it, but he refused everything I wanted to give. I even wanted to buy him a drink or some chips. He refused it. Albanian hospitality, awesome. He didn't like to be on the camera, so I didn't film it. But shout out to him, good guy. If he sees this, thank you, my friend. So basically, the other guy, he went out and he's looking if we can go in the opposite direction of the traffic to just surpass everyone here, actually. It's good, so we don't have to wait. I don't know if it's legal. <laughs> no one is complaining. And suddenly we're almost at the border. guy is now walking with my passport to the border control looks like they don't even need to see me and the driver is smoking his cigarette good thank you all right guys that's just dropped me off here in Montenegro at the Luke oil station Okay guys, I'm carrying a lot of bags here. So it's not that easy to hold the camera as well. But I'm walking to the house now. Should just be a couple of minutes of walking from the Luke Oil station on the right side here. So the border crossing was really easy. It was just one crossing for both the Albanian and Montenegro border. Let's cross the street for our own safety because we have a dangerous turn here. 
there's a little bit more space to walk here. The Albanian immigration, they don't stamp my passport, but the Montenegro side, they do. Although I don't even need a passport technically for Montenegro, I could just use my Belgian ID. And the same for Albania. It should be the house here, right behind the sign on the right. So we're exiting Vladimir Katerkola. I guess that's the name in Albanian. This part of Montenegro has a huge number of Albanian people. And we have a car here from the United States, really. New York, Empire State. Here in Montenegro. That's interesting. Guess it's here. Let's see if someone is home. Hello, hello. I think I'm wrong. I think it was a second house after the sign. So the, the one behind this very long wall. I think we're gonna have a mansion here, guys. The Montenegrin mansion. Hello? Hello? Someone here? I hope I'm not accessing someone's private property and I certainly hope there's no dock or anything here. Hello? Hello? Oh, there's a cat. That's okay. Hello? Well, this is definitely the house, so I recognize it. Hello? Hello? Hello. <laughs> Take off my shoes. Oh, water is good. <laughs> very nice, very good. What room? Second room. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Switching all the lights. Is it the toilet or is it the sun? Okay. Yes, it's okay. Okay. Very good. There is coffee. Mm -hmm. Coffee here. Oh. Yes, you. Okay. Vodka. <laughs> Thank you. I asked for coffee. And he gives me vodka. Okay. Wow. Very nice. Good. Good, good. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Bathroom. Okay. Good. What is here? More! More! Oh! And here. Washing machine. Good. Close. Good, good, good. Okay, first, then this. Very good. Very good. Limon? No. Mandarine. 
Mandarin. Mandarins. I hear? What is this? No, no, thank you. I don't smoke. Sure. No smoking. What is this? Manda is same? Yeah. Okay. No, no, no smoking. Fears. Drinking, yes. <laughs> Nice. Ah, good, good. Grapes. Grapes. Here? Good. Hmm. This one is this one. Everything? Yeah, sure. That's it guys. I'm going to end the video here. I have arrived at the villa. I'm going to dive in the pool while I wait for my friends to arrive for my birthday. They're boarding the flight in Brussels now. And now I'm just going to relax, going to have a drink, I don't know. Just going to chill. See you guys for the next video and that will be from Montenegro. Ciao.